Hi, I'm Fred Durr. I'm President and Chief Executive Officer of Frederick Durr & Company, a highway construction company in Sarasota, Florida, and I want to welcome you to our website. Uh, we have a very unique project to tell you about, and it consists of a soil cement step revetment that was constructed on Casey Key, which is a barrier island in Sarasota County. This was a very unique uh, type of construction technique, never before used on the coastline of Florida. And this was uh, conceived, designed, and constructed uh, by my company. The purpose of the revetment was to protect uh, a series of homes uh, on the Gulf of Mexico that were in imminent danger of destruction from a serious erosion problem. When it comes to solving beach erosion problems, in general there are several alternatives. The first and the most popular is beach renourishment. Secondly, groins have been effective in the past. Then there are seawalls, rock revetments, and now the soil cement step revetment. The 300 block picture immediately after construction shows that the top slab was extended in width to accommodate a paved road. The 300 block aerial photo was taken in November 1989 and shows uh, how well the beach is stabilized uh, almost eight months after construction. The typical winter storm uh, is a serious erosion threat. These winter storms are similar to what the New Englanders call nor'easters, uh, extremely high wave and heavy surf, and this wave action takes its toll on the beachfront property on Casey Key. The 300 block has been in place now for quite some time, and as you can see, the sand has pretty well covered the beach. This is a shot uh, prior to the construction of the soil cement step revetment. Uh, this was in November of 1988. As you can see, this was just an unpaved beach road that washed out with every major storm that occurred uh, on Casey Key. One of the unfortunate aspects of the first project on the 300 block was that several days after we began construction of the soil cement step revetment, uh, the project was impacted by Tropical Storm Keith that totally destroyed the road that we were endeavoring to protect and as a result had to be rebuilt even before we could complete the project. I'm happy to say since that time that road has uh, remained intact after every major storm and uh, Sarasota County has not had a maintenance problem by having to rebuild it after it's destroyed. The pictures of the 300 block uh, under construction show the initial excavation for the installation of the footing and then subsequently uh, the several different lifts of soil cement slabs that were placed. This shot shows the soil cement step revetments in the 300 block uh, immediately after the final soil cement slab was constructed. And part of the construction uh, technique on this was to extend the top slab a width of 30 feet so that the beach road became an integral part of the soil cement uh, structure. Uh, the 800 block was a project that was uh, constructed by Sarasota County and uh, it utilized, uh, with my permission, the same soil cement design that uh, created for the 300 block as well as the 2700 block. I'd like to say a few words about the uh, design of the soil cement step revetment. Basically, it's a series of terrace slabs and it's simplest idea. Each slab being 8 inches thick, 10 feet wide, and the length the continuous for the entire length of the project. The slabs are stepped back 16 inches, one after the other, until you have a terrace effect. 
One of the prime considerations uh, in the permitting process for the soil cement step revetments was the question of whether or not the revetment would have a harmful impact on sea turtle nesting. Uh, as it turns out, uh, quite the opposite is true. Uh, the sea turtle nesting has been enhanced by virtue of the structure. Uh, we did some research and uh, we found that in other parts of the world, uh, uh, Quebec for example in the Gaspé Peninsula, a soil cement step revetment had been constructed some 40 years ago at that time to protect uh, the coastline and uh, we found much to our surprise that uh, that structure had been very effective protecting uh, the Gaspé Peninsula property. Uh, from some very serious nor'easter type storms. Uh, we felt that if that was uh, sufficient to take care of that, surely it was worth considering for Casey Key. Okay, this is a picture of one of the property owners, uh, Earl Collins, looking at what used to be a well in the backyard of the Brazel residence. And uh, this gives you a pretty good indication of how severe the erosion had been in recent years. The construction of the 2700 block soil cement step revetment required the installation of a steel sheet pile coffer dam. This was not originally anticipated because at the time the permitting process started, the residents had at least 150 feet of beach in front of their home. Unfortunately, it took four years to obtain the permit and by the time the permit was obtained, the beach that was there when the permitting process started no longer existed and the only way the structure could be built was to hold the Gulf of Mexico back by means of a steel sheet pile coffer dam. In September uh, of 2000, the west coast of Florida experienced a near miss by Hurricane Gordon and of great concern was the impact uh, that this might have on the soil cement step revetments on Casey Key. Uh, we are pleased to report that there was no structural damage to the revetments or to the homes or the roads. There was no erosion of the beaches. There was no loss of access to the beaches and there was a major accretion of sand as a result of Hurricane Gordon. The structures performed as they were designed to do. In conclusion, the Casey Key soil cement step revetments demonstrate that there has been no adverse impact on the environment. The sea turtle nesting habitat has been enhanced. There is no evidence of downdrift erosion. Beach accessibility can be maintained. The structures are obviously exceptionally durable. Very little maintenance has been required and above all, beach stabilization has occurred in each and every case.